Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Martha Fowler and I'm back with our last lesson this week in social studies. This week we have been learning about how to find places on a map using a map grid. Today's example is a map of the Philadelphia Zoo. So this Philadelphia Zoo map has a grid on it for us. This time you can't really see the lines that we have been seeing all this week. However, across the top, if you look very carefully, we have the letters A, B, C, D, and E. And down this side, we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it actually keeps going all the way down here, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So you can see all the different animals and activities that are available at the Philadelphia Zoo. So I thought we could practice with this map today. So let's try one. What if you went to the zoo and you wanted to find how to get to the carousel? Carousel is kind of like a merry-go-round. You really wanted to go on the carousel. So you looked on this map until you found the picture and the carousel is right here. So if you wanted to go on the carousel, this map could help you find it. So let's see how the grid can help us find the carousel at the Philadelphia Zoo. So just like we were saying before with rows and columns, I'm going to first figure out what column the carousel is in. So if I go up to the top, I see that the carousel is in column D. Column D. Now let's go across and see what row the carousel is in. The carousel is in row four. So the carousel on this Philadelphia Zoo map is in D4. So this map could help you use all the walkways and paths that are in the Philadelphia Zoo to help lead you to the carousel. Let's try another one. What if you were looking at your map and you saw the, that you wanted to go to A5? You were kind of near A5 and you wanted to know what animal would be there to visit. See if you can figure out what animal is located in A5. Let's try it. So our letters are across the top. First I'll figure out where A is right here, so I know it has to be an animal in this column. Wow, there are a lot of animals in column A. So it's going to be one of these animals in column A. Now I'm going to look at the numbers. Here are the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. So it has to be an animal in this row, row five. So if I go across, I know it has to be an A5. I see the zebra. So the zebra is in A5. So you could use this map to help you find different animals and activities at the Philadelphia Zoo using this map grid. Map grids are used a lot to help us find places. So this week your graded work in social studies is going to be to look at a map that has a map grid and then you're going to be locating some things just like we've been practicing this week. I hope you enjoyed it.